your customer. So the photo cell timer is going to work based off when the sun goes down and the sun comes up. So uh, anytime it gets dark out, it's going to turn it on. And uh, the only case it wouldn't work is if we had to put it on your front porch and you had a soffit lighting that lights up the porch, which you will have to turn on. Right. So the photo cell, otherwise, I'd recommend using a mechanical timer so we could preset the can. And you would already have made that decision before you explained that, right? Sure, usually wouldn't have to explain that. You usually wouldn't have to explain that. So what you know, in this instance, we're just showing the basic operation. So you have the seven basic settings. I think it's seven. Uh, on, off, two, four, six, eight, and dusk till dawn. So like when I explain the customer, this is a photo cell timer. It's based off of light. This is always on. This is always off. Um, you can also set it to these two, four, six, eight settings, and what that means is so if I turn it to the two hour setting, Mr. Mrs. Smith, it's gonna, the lights are gonna turn on when the sun goes down and stay on for two hours and then shut off. If you have it to the four hour setting, it's gonna stay on for four hours and shut off, so on and so forth. It's pretty self explanatory, Mrs. Smith, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Dust till dawn, it's gonna stay on all night, right? Um, so I'm ex explaining that. The second thing I'm doing is I'm explaining uh, ex uh, mainly how like extension cords and yards and landscaping. This is very important because um, one, it provides a little bit of value. Two, it could be a potential tripping hazard if little Johnny's walking around in the yard and there's a long cord that, I, that our technician didn't explain where the cords are in uh, and little Johnny trips, slip trips and falls. We're probably in some big shit, right? So we got to explain that from that perspective, but also just a value-added perspective. They just paid two thousand bucks to have their Christmas lights hung instead of just installing them and leaving them and saying peace out. You know, it's part of like our process, right? So uh, explaining extension cords in grass and landscaping areas. So how that would look. I'd say, Mrs. Smith, um, we installed this uh, maple tree out in the front of your yard. Uh, as well as these two uh, and these uh, roll of hedges and bushes in your uh, landscaping over here. So I just wanted to explain to you, just so you know, um, that it's ran kind of over here and then it comes all the way out here. And so if for whatever reason, I know it's October 15th right now, so you may still be getting your um, lawn care, or you still may be getting your uh, lawn cut. Do you hire a company out or do you do it yourself? We hire a company out. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is just, uh, there's a couple things you could do. Do you want me to just leave them installed like this or would you like me to wrap them up and put them up to your house and you can uh, finish them up later? Or are they going to say yes or no, right? Or go ahead and do it. This is a sticky situation. It's like, do you install them and leave them? The goal and I like hope is like for us not to come back, right? So right. you kind of like persuade them to let them do the work. But like, don't tell them to do the work kind of thing. So you're asking them. So in that specific situation, when it's still lawn care season, because we're um, usually what I'll do is I'll at least explain it to them. I'll ask them if they hire a lawn care company, and if they hire a lawn care company, I'll ask them what they want me to do. I'm still gonna because at the install they're gonna be plugged in because they need to be plugged in in order to install the lights. Um, but I'm still having that conversation. So you, um, so that's that. So explain timer, explain wires going through landscaping beds and on grass. Um, two, two important things. Uh, third important thing is equipment checklist. Make sure you have your players. That's going to be the number one thing that you're going to leave behind, right? Um, and then just do a laundry list of other things, uh, or on the rest of your checklist. Just go through them and check them off. Check them off. Check them off. Especially. The small items and large items, water fed pole, ridge, go, doing a walk around on the property. Even if you didn't go to the backyard, go to the backyard. Because you might have thought you didn't go to the backyard, but in reality you had to go uh, check to see if there's an outlet back there and then you dropped your players or whatever, right? You, know, you just never know. Um, so explain timer, explain cords running through the um, grass and uh, landscaping, equipment checklist. Obviously we're making sure everything's lit up um, done, customer's happy, and then collecting payment. Those are the biggest things, okay? Uh, did anyone have any other questions on the test? I know you didn't have a look at it. You probably didn't have it. No one probably looked I mean, at it. I looked at mine when I got back. I did. I missed. I, I, Which I, one did you miss? The electrical wire. I 
thought we were talking about socket layers like a thousand feet, but it was, we were talking about extension layers. Oh, I could have gave that to you. Is that your only one wrong? Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. I knew you. I was like, how do you not fucking know that? Yeah. All right, well. I just read it wrong. Anyways, that was the um, biggest thing. Our most popular colors are warm white multicolor. That's mainly what we're going to be doing. The reason why I wanted you to know thousand foot on the C9 wire is because a lot of times we're going to be doing thousand foot, you know, there's going to be a task assigned bulbing clip a thousand feet after your jobs are done or if we finish early or whatever, right? Um, so they all come in a prepackaged thousand foot. Um, Side. So on these new equipment checklists, it's going to have a front and a back. The back's more related to the Christmas light side. Uh, so before we leave, we'll do the front end, but for the sake of this training, um, we're just doing the back end. So Ryan had kind of put everything uh, here together. Um, so we're just going to kind of run through everything, okay? So if everyone wants to come over here, um, or maybe we should just do it up on the key up. So you got your bulbs, your clips, players, and then miscellaneous stuff right here. So we're just gonna run right off the rip. Alex, start at the top. What is the first uh, thing set there? Players. Players? Uh, we got two. Two channel, uh, or keep, keep going down the channel line. Locks. One. Mm, SPT one, male and female. SPT one, male and female. Yep. SPT one, male, SPT one, female. Check. SPT two, male and female. SPT two, male and female. SPT two, male and female in socket repair. C9 replacement sockets. C9 replacement sockets. Um, where would those be? Where would those be? I think they're in here. They're in here. C9 replacement sockets. Binder clips. Binder clips. Look at that. Shingle clips. Um, shingle tabs, they should be called. Yeah, you might want to change it then. <laughs> you got enough shingle clips. Yeah, would you? <laughs> But we got them, check. Magnetic clips. Uh, we don't have any of those, or at least I don't think so. Let me double check. That's your ridge clip there. They're not going to be in there, so we do not have any of those. Large clamps. Large clamps, got two of them. Okay. Two small clamps. Um, got two little baby small clamps. Some yard sticks. We got... What is it? Does any of it... Yard stakes. Put verify work order for more. So most of the stuff that we're going to list off is going to be verifying the work order for more. So for instance, on yard stakes, if we have 300, you know, a shit ton of C9 yard stakes, and you can see in the picture that it looks like a lot, I'm grabbing extra. How much extra? I don't know. Maybe you know. Grab a couple more bags just to be safe. Are you gonna keep that in your truck every single time? Probably not. We don't need to keep this many. This is just in the event that maybe a customer wants to add a small little piece, you have them on there, right? Yeah. Job, job by job basis, pretty much. Job by job basis, so that this would be a good example. Uh, Three-way connector. I got three, four of them. Okay. Mechanical timers. Make sure you put four of them. Uh, I have no mechanical timers or photo cell timers. Uh, cable line protector. Cable line protector, we're not going to. That's going to be verify. You know, maybe we should just keep them in our truck just in case. I don't know. What do you think? What is it? The cable line protector. It's a oh. Um. It's gonna be on like a case by case and check. Best clips box of them right here. Extension wire, I'm gonna keep. Right here. Thousand foot spool C9. Thousand foot spool C9 right here. Ridge clips. 
ridge clips? Okay, I at least have 50 of them. Get me by to the day. Our work order up for the day doesn't say we need any. We're good. I don't need any garlic and grease. Galvanized wire, thick and small. Nails, large and small. Nails, we have large, not small. These are for hanging wreaths mm -hmm. and wood soffits. Um, so put, we need the small one. Hammer and screws. Hammer and screws. Uh, screws, no. Hammer should be in everyone's truck. You have a hammer in your truck? No, it's one of mine. I think so. So we should have it, but we'll verify that. No, no I ain't. Warm white casement. Check. C9 multi tape. Check. Purple. Bald? Yep. Um, all right here. Check. I got at least 25 of them. I verify work order for more. Yep. Right? Orange, red, green, yellow. Orange, green, blue. I got pure white. I got cool white. I got yellow. Red. Orange and soft white. Soft white I got. Orange I got. Alright. Mini lights, warm white. Verify work order. Warm white? Yep. I got a case. Uh, multi? Got a case. Red. Uh, got some. Green and blue. Green case and a blue case. Uh, I got blue. Like, you know, you're gonna have to, so like C9s for instance, you know, maybe there should be a little box we bald and clip, thousand foot spools. Um, and put them in little boxes, so it's like if you have two new installs, verify to make sure you have those. Obviously, if we're doing renewals, and you gotta make sure you have the renewal boxes. Pretty self-explanatory, right? The reason why you just have a basis of this is mainly for renewal. So, ridge clips, yard stakes, a lot of the times when we're doing these renewals, we lose a couple ridge clips. We have an act, a couple extra. You're going to do a service repair on a multicolor house, and you need orange, red, and blue. You have all that. Um, you're going to do a service call, and you got to replace a socket. You have all that. You're doing a renewal, and you got to replace a socket. You have all that. So um, that's it. What's on the next agenda? Plugs, how to. You take Alex, I'll take Ethan. We're going to do males, females, inlines, and the socket. Okay. We'll break up into two little sessions. You take Alex, I'll take Ethan. Okay. Um, as far as, let's go ahead and put up. We're making male, female, inline, and a socket. Inline and knockout. What's the difference between a regular female and a knockout female? Grab the ball. Knockout females are used for inlines. Regular females, you can't knock that little piece out and put an inline. Yeah. So just That's grab right. a female. It should, all of ours females should be knockouts, right? Oh, so you just take your player. Check your uh, here. You can check your verify. You can do some process of elimination. Yeah, make sure you got power to start with. That's always a good thing. Okay. So you know that has power. Show you how to do this real quick. 
So make sure you didn't puncture any holes while you were doing that. Okay, you got your fat end right now is on the right side, right? Mm -hmm. Fat, right end, fat, right end. Oh, okay, I was trying to put it the other way. Sliding cap. Alright, okay, do one more. Knock that out. And if it still doesn't for some reason, I was just trying to teach the way I was taught. Alright, there we go. Good. So if it wasn't all the way. Check your inlines now. Ah, yeah. There we go, almost there. Perfect. Okay. Now, See? your oh, socket. Plug. And the shitty ones. Oh, so yeah. the rib then going on the opposite end of the clip. So these come with two different pieces. Mm -hmm. We just got to figure out where it goes. Explains why. It's a good example. Figure out it only fits one way. Right. Right? So we know that the ribbed end goes on the opposite side of the clip, this clip. Okay. Right? So we looked at the ribbed end, and I have it on the opposite Main side right now. Okay? So I'm just going here, making it as flat as possible. Uh, hand me channel locks, please. Right there to your left of your hand. Make it the right size. Got power? Missing two. On that one? Yeah. As in you installed it with a missing tooth? Really? Interesting. Just goes to show just Verify all your just goes to show because they're brand new, don't mean they're not defective. Ball. They're you're gonna have right. few, that's why I always said you always gotta check them. Yep. So verify both of the inlines were, verify you got power. That goes along with never install without power hooked up and you'll yep. know. So you know your socket works. Keep that plugged in. Make sure your both of those inlines work. You just plug minis right into it. All right? Okay. Other inline. There's two inlines, right? I think you already checked that one. Perfect. Okay. Easy peasy. Once you. Uh, do it several times, you'll get faster and faster at it. And then it turns into muscle memory. And then it just turns into muscle memory. Um, so for the sake of this, let's go ahead and take all these off, because these are all 70 cents a piece, and we're not going to waste any <laughs> of these plugs. So go ahead and take them all off. I'm going to show you once. The right way is to just pull it right. off. Mm -hmm. When it's cold out, they'll, slip, they'll uh, snap. Just taking it. Yeah, don't use your teeth either. Um, yeah, no, I never used to chip. Yeah. Should have saw Ryan last year. Oh, hey, he chipped it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right here. You can pop it back. Hold that up. And I used to do it too. Let's go from the top. You got this end and this end. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Or you can just. Grab it at the corner too. Funny. Ah. Here, 
pinch it down on both. Yep. Go back on the other end, maybe. Use the channels. We're using the pliers. Listen, your channels don't do shit. No, I meant like this. Go back to the original. They do not. Use the bottom. <laughs> Right, and then it's just off because. Okay, now. And then right, now you can grab it. But she's all the way squished. Right. <laughs> Same thing here. Go ahead and try it. Mm hmm. Yeah, see? Slides off. It's not going to slide off that way. See how it's no, closed on that end? They only go easy one. Open on that end, that means it goes off that way. How do you get that socket off? Very gently. Uh, <laughs> socket? No. Yeah. There's no getting it off gently. You have to break it. <laughs> that's true. On that. So that's one way. Just don't have a clip now. <laughs> Generally, you just can crush the whole socket and it'll fall right off. But then, if you had electrical tape, you would want to tape okay. two holes. So. Well, as far as the socket, the Alex just ripped it off. <laughs> Broke it. There's uh, hey, the we don't have the snipping tools. I don't think. No, we don't. We just did our equipment checklist. Um, but right, uh, Alex, you know, it's, I don't even, I'm surprised you even did that. You fucking Sometimes ripped it off that way. You just gotta wiggle it. You just pull it off the line? <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to be able to do that when you're replacing a socket on a 32 foot ladder when all of them are already taut? Because a lot of times you're going to have to do a no. socket replacement when the line's already taut, so you can't grab that slack right. and then start pulling, especially on a 32 foot. So uh, a lot of the times we have these little snippers, um, you just kind of slice it until you get down, right? If you guys notice, you guys have little puncture holes all over your wire, mm -hmm. right? This is what I was talking about, like let's say for whatever reason on a reinstall, you have your male and female on the ends, and we don't leave just random inlines. If there's a right. random inline, it means you didn't do the install correct, or someone didn't do the install correct at some point in time. Right. Right? And then whatever, as long as they fit. Ideally, you want to do it correct, but unfortunately, uh, you know, it is it is what it is. Especially when I first started, I would put fucking inlines on everything. Mm -hmm. Inline here, inline here, I'm going to put collar over here. You know, so there's a lot of extra when we first started, so we're slowly working them over the years. But electrical tape these little pinch holes. You're never going to want to leave those open uh, to the to the uh, elements. weather elements. Thank you. Make sure the electrical tape is the same color as the cord. Yep. Ideally, green with green. I guess that's the only. We just need green electrical tape. I guess. So big things on plugs, snake end, check snake for tip uh, ends, defective plugs, missing teeth. Check for defective plugs, same size. missing teeth, teeth on the same side. You're going to come across it. It's inevitable. When the teeth are on the same side, are both the prongs the same size too? I haven't noticed. I haven't like I haven't. It, I don't think so. Okay. I think it's just it's still a big prong and a little prong. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Which is the problem. Yeah, I was just those. curious if that's something also you can look for. Yep. Um, bulbing and clipping is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you got our. Um, always do it with power. That's the biggest thing. Always what, Devin? Always do it while plugged into power. Always bulb and clip, always install when you're plugged into power, no questions It'll asked. You never, ever, ever install any lights without power on. It's stupid. Don't do it. Unless for some reason you can't do it. There's, you really better double check yourself. There's one exception to that. 
The only exception would be, let's say, if you have a two-story house and then you got the garage gutter line. You know, like let's say main guy when you guys are doing a renewal and he's installing power here and then you're lighting this up or you have a third man for instance and your third man would only, I would probably send this third man to go, hey, go install this lower roof line, right? It's okay in that instance because it's like all we got to do is set up two stacks if there isn't any power or if the bulbs aren't good, we'll try to always install with power. Yep. <clears throat> Mini lights, always install with power. Yep. No questions asked. Because if, Fractive you know, strand. yeah, if you have a defective strand at the third strand, try and match it back. Yep. So you're verifying if mini lights are uh, working every single time. With mini lights, you're going to either have none of it work or half the strand work, right? You guys seen those old classic styles, so the same thing with these. If half of them are out, then uh, we're obviously not gonna use it. Um, do -ba -do -ba -do. So that's that. Um, let's load up your truck. Yep. And before we do that, we're gonna go two things. We got a service call. This is like real world experience, but we're just going to do this. Mitzi called us and right. she said we forgot to do her little dog ears. What are dog ears? Couldn't tell you that much. We still haven't came up with a name for it. Me and Ryan were talking about this. We don't call them dog ears. We call the them inlets? We call them the piggybacks. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, I, I don't know. What the hell do you call them? We're going to call them dog ears. The three foot, the, the three, three bulb sections. Yep. Yep. So on, um, okay gutters so like let's say you have a me and mark always call them inlets but inlets <laughs> yeah that it was, was piggyback last year piggyback okay yeah. these are the uh what do you guys want to fucking call it i don't know <laughs> calling them dog ears i call them little i used to call them piggybacks <laughs> last year you call them inlets call them dog ears little flippy floppy dog ears okay sure. so a lot of times when we're installing uh, these we always do these dog ears right so in this specific instance um, like if I were to do this install there's two ways to do this the best and uh, uh, the way it should be done is you have a continuous line up here with an inline right here to give you power to light this so it's just gonna be a three bulb strand is that the right way? No. There's also another way to do it. And what we do is uh, when you have a peak and you have a strand, what you're doing is you're continuing this strand that's along this gutter line and you're going here. So there's me one bulb, two bulb, three bulb. And then you would have to take, you call it blacking out, you take one bulb out of the socket so it's an empty socket and then it'll get you back to this peak to go up. So it's gonna be continually one strand. You can also do that. Do I like doing that? I would only do this. If you're gonna to have to make a lot of extension cords. If you're gonna to have to make a lot, this is kind of like the cheap way out, but also it's like, is it the wrong way? I don't really know, to be honest. Have I done it? Absolutely. Is it wrong? I don't know. What I do know is if this, uh, if this empty socket is like sticking out, like that's what I don't want. So for instance, we have one house, her name's Allison Montgomery, and she has these piggybacks, but I can see them. They're like face level, for some reason her garage is like super low. I wouldn't do that, I would make it nice and clean in that instance, right? Um, but generally, it's either an inline or running a blackout back yep. um, to get you there, as long as you hide it and it's good, right? As long as you hide it and it looks good. Yeah. It's not like sagging over the edges. Um, all right. So Mitzi's, we got, uh, we have a surface call. We're doing, we got to do dog ears at her front peak. And then there's a ball out on the front peak, top right of peak. Um, it's nice when they tell you. 
Sometimes you gotta look. A lot of times our uh, admin will always try to. Um, and you should always look anyways, because usually there's if there's one out, there's others out, and they haven't noticed yet. Yeah. Yep. yep. So you just look for other ones too. All right. Um, and then the next work order is my house. I already did most of it, but what we're gonna do is just assume like we're doing everything, okay? So this is a Christmas light renewal, okay? You got a Christmas light renewal. On the Christmas light renewal, and Devin, you know my house and you know what was done, so don't pay attention to this work order. This is just example reasons only, sure. right? So um, on this Christmas light renewal, we're doing C9 bulbs along all sides of the roof line, including all verticals of house on front only. Let me read that again. C9 bulbs cut to all sides of roof line. So we're going C9s along front, side, back, rear, including all verticals, including all verticals. In parentheses, verticals of the house on the front only. So the verticals are the um, these parts, right? Right. So we can. And I'll show you how to install those. And then you have like a garage door, and we're doing C nines along here. Those are verticals, up and down. Right. So C nine bulbs uh, cut to all the roof line, including all verticals. In parentheses, verticals of house on front only. We'll see that when we get there. And then new addition in 2022. Install five millimeter mi five mm five millimeter minis on five arbor vitae's in the backyard outlined in blue. So in the profile, it's going to show a picture of five arbor vitae's outlined in blue. That's where we're installing the lights. We're also doing maple tree front yard, inside branch wrap up 12 feet high. So we're doing an inside branch wrap up 12 feet high. What does that mean? 12 feet high is two stacks. It's as high as we go. And then that's how we explain it to the customers. We go, our ladders are about 12 feet. We're going to go up 12 feet, and that's how we fit it uh, based off of that. So on an inside branch wrap up 12 feet high, you're usually wrapping the main branches. So you wrap the trunk and then a, couple, a few main branches, right? So you yeah, wrap the, the trunk. usual trunk wrap is like 12 feet, right? Yep. About two stacks. About two stacks. Yeah. So in this instance, uh, trunk wrap inside, also known as an inside branch wrap, we're going up 12 feet. And we'll kind of more explain Sometimes that. if they want it higher, they'll say they want the trunk wrap to go up higher. Seen yep. So we'll usually do trunk wraps at 12 feet or 18 feet, which means two stacks, three stacks. or three stacks. Right? Um, there are certain trees like Derek Allen's, for instance, we do four stacks high, but that's on like a very large maple and it looks fucking really sweet. Yep. So we'll go like each person has a set of stacks, one on one side and one on another, and we just kind of pass them around. We'll go over that uh, when we get to my house. Um, so on this, we're wrapping maple tree. So this is a new addition. We're installing a five arbor varieties and we're doing the maple tree in the front yard and inside branch wrap up 12 feet plus a balloon wrap on the canopy of the tree, three to four foot spacing on top. So we're gonna do a branch wrap on the inside and then wrap the canopy like a lollipop, or we call balloon wrap, looks like a balloon, around the top. Looks fucking sweet. When you do it correctly. Um, so that's that. So now I'm leaving for the day. I know I'm doing a renewal, so I gotta grab K. Arkaraji's bin. But we also have a new addition, so I know I need to grab, um, we're doing five arbor vitae's. Um, in the additional details, it says branch wrap, 10 strands. I didn't print this right. Uh, balloon wrap, 18 strands, and the arbor vitae's six, uh, approximately seven strands each. There's five of them, seven times five, 40. We know it, we, how many does a uh, case come in? 24. In case of beer 24 24 mini lights in a box so i know that uh we need to grab all this material so if i was a tech um i'm kind of like writing all this down on the side i don't know if you want to write it on your equipment checklist probably not because you don't want to scribble all over it so i'm taking like an extra sheet of paper so i know i need 18 strands uh pure white 
How many did I say of warm white? Minutes. Forty warm white minis? Uh, I don't know. Seven times five. Yeah, Thirty warm white. Yeah. Seventy warm white strands. And then uh, approximately twelve red minis. Okay. Um, on Mitzi's service call, installed dog ear. So I already have my C9. I'll have my C9 socket wire there. That's no problem. And then a bulb out. Um, she has Halloween colors on there right now. Do you need to know that? Nah, not necessarily because you're going to have all colors of the bulbs in your truck at all times anyway. I know that it's a purple bulb, but we have purple in there, right? Yeah. Um, so for Mitzi's service call, we pretty much have it already in our equipment for that new addition on Kay's house. We got to grab uh, the appropriate material. Yep. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So we're Jack, how many? Uh, two. 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 Yep. Eighteen inch T bar. Uh, two of them. Six inch channels. You got one in your belt over here. I got one in my belt. I got one in here. Two in here. Two in there. Three total. Hand me one. One's my purse. Okay. Uh, 18 inch, 12 inch channel. Yep, I got two. Two total? Yep. I'm sorry, I said 12 inch. Two 12, yeah, 12 inch channels, how many 18 inch channels? Uh, just one. Just one? Uh, sorry, Dawn's. Sorry, no, I have two. You have two? Two? Yeah. Dawn soap, check, one restore? Yeah, we'll try in the trash right can. There. Yep. Steel wool? Yeah, steel wool's right here. Techno pad? Uh, I haven't had one for a minute. Alex has the one that I was using. Bastard. <laughs> Hey, it helps my solo life, man. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Six inch scraper. Yep, it's uh. One. Uh, scraper blades. Got them? Yep. Squeegee handles. You got one, two right off the rib. Yep, two. And then there's a third one. Because I was wondering where that one came from. Stick it out. It's going to be there. Uh, two so track brushes. You got one in your belt here. I have. I think I just have one. There's one. Tool belt. We only have one set right now. Shoe cover. Very few, but I have some up here and some back there. extra steel wool. Shoe covers, daily towels, blah, we don't need them right now. Uh, color, uh, window bucket, got it. Rubber gloves. Gutter gloves. Just uh, one. No, That's what I'm referring to, like thicker gloves. Yeah, no, I've had some like a Rubber gloves, yeah. those But you just have one set of glo extra gloves other than a latex glove? I have another set of these up front. So two sets? Yeah. Drop cloths? Yep, there's one under this box. Vacuum, check. Yard signs, check. Um, Hornet bug spray. Not anymore. Yeah. Four stack lighters, one, two, three, four. Stack lighter bonnet. She on there? Yep. 32 foot ladder. Yep. 24 foot ladder. On the trailer. On the trailer. Uh, goat ladder. Yep. Four sections. Yep. Is it three or is it four? Uh, yes, there's four. Six foot gorilla, check. Four foot step stool, check. Ladder stabilizers, two sets, check. 16 foot Three pole. Sets. 
Oh, you have three sets? Yeah, the 24 has one. Oh, gotcha. Moving ahead of myself. Uh, pull. Yeah, put some here. Check. DI tank. And a commercial water key. Yep. So yep. TDS meter. I think it gave it away when I gave it away. Should be in that little uh, black and yellow box. Bottom right. Uh, by your yellow oh. bucket. It might be. No, I think I had I think I had to give it away to Jake. Yep. It's not in there. Water fed pole. No. We need that. 18 inch boar's head brush. Water-fed toolbox. What is in there? Just list it off to me, real quick. O-rings. So no water-fed pull box. Water-fed hose reel and a garden hose reel. Extra set of hose. Uh, garden hose spray nozzle, pump sprayer, that went somewhere, I think so, another guy grabbed it, you're going forward, people don't grab stuff out of other people's cars, those are fighting words, you don't take shit from my truck, I don't take shit from your truck, <laughs> Um, leaf blower in the truck, no. Five gallon bucket, no. Nope. Methanol, not yet. Soon though. Extra ratchet straps? No, I have one extra sticky strap up here. Uh, I think you got another one behind the driver's seat. I might. Because I think, uh, yeah, because I had to, when we were cleaning this out a little earlier. Basic toolbox? Basic toolbox. Yeah. Uh, first aid kit. Okay. So window cleaning stuff far left, right? And then you're moving into Christmas light stuff. So. We got all of our C9 vest clips up top. We got our miscellaneous stuff, three-way adapters, color zip ties, uh, more binder kit clips, command clips, um, which we use for like trimming out windows, uh, extra channel exit pliers, clamps, wreath, hot glue. We use hot glue for um, putting, uh, usually when we're installing lights on brick, you can use hot glue and it makes it stick really well. Um, what are these extra yard stakes? Timers will be here. We're out of timers right now, but we're getting those in stock. Thousand foot X wire, extension wire, lamp wire, extra cases of cable protectors. Um, C9 spool, 15 inch spacing. We use 15 inch spacing. Extra yard stakes up there. Extra ridge clips up there. Okay, you got all your extra plugs here. Now we're getting into mini lights. You got your C9 spool right here, and then all warm white minis. Warm whites continued. All right? And then you got miscellaneous colored uh, minis. Um, you got green here, blue here, multicolor. Pure white, more pure white up there. Yep, right up there. Yeah, you can identify the, what color it is right here. Don't ever get confused by this. A lot of people will grab, oh, I need green mini, uh, I need green mini lights, and then they see this. It says green wire, warm white. This, this is warm white minis. This box can't label it at all. 
It's because it's, it's just a different order. Those are pure white. All those non-labeled ones that boxes look like that are all pure white. Okay. Um, I'm looking for multi minis, which these are all warm white, eh? Oh, here you go. Multis right here. Okay, so I was wrong. So it looks like you got multi here. And then warm white. They're the best we could organizing this. You just gotta look for it, but everything is weird. And then we're moving into like C9 bulbs, right? Yep. And then apparently Ryan's on this. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're doing Scott Akraji's bin. We got to grab that. We already grabbed it. It's in the truck. Um, warm white. Two cases of warm white. We already grabbed that. It's in Scotty's truck. It's in our truck. It's at my house. A uh, case of red. We already grabbed that. And a case of pure white. I think we need that. I think my bin's at my house. Ninety percent sure. It is. Let's check. <laughs>